I like to go to the gym and work out. And you know, you go into a gym and I'm talking about the guy that you hear before you see. You know that guy? The guy you hear before you see. I'm like, wow, that's a big dude behind me lifting all the weight of the world. You look over your shoulder. You see the biggest, most built, erect guy with two little small dumbbells that he's lifting. And, he, and I'm wondering, are you okay? Everybody knows my name, but nobody knows who I am. They call me Gus. Oh my goodness, is that you? Yeah, it's me, I can only be me. No, no, I mean, you're Gus. I'm Giancarlo. No, you're Gus. Okay. Hey, could you be Gus for me? I will do anything for my fans. However, I'm sorry. I refuse to be Gus Fring today. Hello. I'm Gustavo Fring. And I also have pet peeves. Practicing excellent hygiene is very important to good health in the workplace especially. It can stave off the infection from germs that you bring in to my restaurant with you. But what I do not understand is why we don't wash our hands before we pee. You walk into the bathroom with all the germs from the outside world, you unzip, you go to the urinal, and you touch yourself with hands that are unclean. We should wash our hands first to prevent personal self-inflicted infection. Number two, relieve yourself. Number three, wash your hands thoroughly so that you don't spread your infected germs to everyone else. I have another very personal hygiene pet peeve. You know when you go to a nail salon, Everything is very nice. I often like the ones with the big chair that vibrates. <laughs> this is very good for my back. I hate it when they try to sell you more. They are always trying to sell me more. Would you like to have the scrub, the mint scrub, the julep scrub? Oh, we also have a very nice jasmine scrub. I, no, 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 I just want my nails cut very, very short, please. Little rounded edge, keep them clean, do the cuticle, do the feet, and I will go. I have special treatment for you. What do you have? I want to shave the bottom of your feet to get all the dead skin off and it will never come back. Okay, put your feet in the water. Okay, put my feet in the water. She goes to the back, she comes back. She brings out a tool this big that looks like it was bought at Home Depot. I ask her, what is this? She said, oh, well they used it to shave down sheet rock. <laughs> Just what I wanted, to get shaved by a sheet rock shaver in the nail salon. Our world has become very busy. And I was in the mall yesterday, and I experienced this firsthand. It made me think about how we as people are always led or guided or have to follow in someone else's footsteps. So the mall is very busy. There are kids running around, their parents, there are women in high heel Louboutins walking in front of you, and you're trying to navigate which way to go. So I see a man, he looks like he knows where he is going. He's cutting through everything, very relaxed, very good stride. I get behind him. Ah! For a corridor or two, it was perfection. I follow him, and then as a human being, we get a chance to do our other business, like multitask on the phone, because I can feel him moving and I can track his body until he doesn't know where he's going, and he stops, stops right in front of me. And of course, I bump into him. Oh, excuse me. I'm very sorry, I realize. You must know where you're going. You must take steps to get there. And you must never follow the leader. Always remember, pet peeves are a way for you to understand yourself and to be compassionate and loving to others.